Hello everyone and welcome to Cafe Food, the most imaginative restaurant out there. Today, if you can see my inventory, I have some lovely new foods available to show to you all. I've got a hamburger, a cheese and bacon burger. There was a chicken sandwich but I got a bit peckish and I ate that. So, But I will sh be showing you how to make them all. And this is using a mod called No Foods and Crops. And I'll be showing you some of the basics of this mod. It adds a ton of new recipes, new foods, new ingredients to Minecraft. It's if you're a cook, if you're a chef, if you just like baking, this is the mod for you. And as you can see, some of the amazing stuff you can craft. You've got all different kinds of sandwiches, burgers, pies and cakes, hot dogs if you're up for that. Some pancakes in the morning, you've got different kinds of drinks. You got some eggs, you got pastas and salads if you want the healthy way. So let's start off by creating the simple basics you need in the kitchen. And the first thing you're gonna need is a kitchen knife. A kitchen knife is created with a stick and two iron in a diagonal line and that creates a kitchen knife. The kitchen knife is used for pretty much cutting up most of the stuff that you're going to need to cook. So we'll start off simple. Let's make ourselves a cheese and bacon burger. Now to make cheese is a little more complicated than you'd think. You start off by making a cheese base. So to make a cheese base you need a cheese mould. You need stone in the bottom row and the two middle sides similar to a bowl with wood and that creates a cheese mold. Now you fill the cheese mold with milk, it's a good thing I have some milk. So you fill the cheese bowl with milk and you now have a cheese mold of milk. You put that in the oven, sorry I was cooking something a little earlier for dinner, put that in the oven, gotta wait for it to cook up and then you get yourself a cheese mold the cheese mold in the crafting bench and you get a cheese block. Now you can't put the cheese block in the crafting bench with a kitchen knife, it doesn't cut up the cheese. Instead, what you need to do is simply place it on a surface and right click with the cheese knife. And it slowly cuts it up into four cheese pieces. So now that we have the cheese out the way, the next thing we're going to need is bacon. Now bacon is simple. Bacon you just need some raw pork chops and a kitchen knife. And from that you get raw bacon. So let's get a couple of them going. Put them in. Now I've already made some as you can see here. So we've got the cheese, we've got the bacon and the next thing we need is the actual hamburger meat. So hamburger meat you need raw beef instead of raw pork. You put the kitchen knife in there and you get some raw hamburger meat. So we cook that up. Wait for that to cook. Now while that's cooking we need to get the hamburger bread. Now the hamburger bread is created using wheat and the wheat is created using this. We use it in top, left, middle, left, maybe not left, middle, just middle, bottom left and then the bottom middle and that creates two hamburger breads. So all we need now left is the actual meat itself. And then we finally place it together, bread on top and bottom, meat in the middle cheese on one side, bacon on the other, and we got ourselves a cheese and bacon burger. Delicious. Now the next thing we should probably make, I'm not going to make all the recipes, you can discover some of them on your own, but I can get the basic outline on some of the major ones, such as the sandwiches, so we'll keep it simple. Let's make ourselves a chicken sandwich, it was delicious earlier. Now to make a chicken sandwich we need lettuce, tomato, chicken itself and the bread. Now the bread is used, is created by cutting up simple bread from original Minecraft. You get four bread slices. I cooked some chicken earlier, there we go. And we just put the bread slices at the top and bottom, chicken in the middle, lettuce and tomato on either side and we get a chicken sandwich. Making a chicken salad is exactly the same thing, but instead of doing the bread on the top and bottom, you just do a bowl on the bottom, and that's your chicken salad completely, completely sorted. Now, 
you're feeling a bit thirsty, you've just made yourself a burger, made yourself a sandwich, there are many different kinds of drinks you can have, but I'm going to keep it simple, make yourself a nice glass of water. Uh, so to make that, we need to make a drinking glass. Making a drinking glass, you need glass panes, and then you just put that in the left and right in the middle line, and then the bottom, and that makes a drinking glass. You fill a drinking glass with a bucket of water, and you've got a glass of water. Ah, refreshing. You can do the same with raspberry, strawberry, orange. You can make an orange juice if you're feeling for a bit of juice. Just the same drinking glass at the bottom, orange in the middle, and you got yourself a lovely orange juice. So another thing we can make is okay let's pick one of these we know how to make a chicken salad let's pick guacamole guacamole is an easy one to make what you need is a bowl of course and an avocado and i will show you later how to how you'll be finding all of these ingredients so a bowl and an avocado and you've got yourself some guacamole okay what else can we make hmm a hot dog. Yeah, let's make a hot dog. Hot dogs are nice. Now to make a hot dog, raw beef in the two middle sections, that makes two raw hot dogs. Place the raw hot dogs in the furnace to cook. Wait patiently. Mm, can't wait for the hot dog. And we now have a grilled hot dog. Grilled hot dog, some bread, and there you go. You can also make a hot dog with ketchup. Now a ketchup is used with a glass bottle. Oh, where's my stuff go? There it is. Bottle. So a glass bottle and some tomato of course. And I believe it's either sugar or salt. The icons look very similar to me. Uh sugar? No, try salt. Here we go, and there's some ketchup. Now, bit of hot dog, bit of ketchup, you got a hot dog with ketchup. Simples. Okay, now I showed you some delicious cakes earlier, and pies, we got the chocolate cake, taco, and the meat pie. So let's show off something simple. Let's show off a taco pie, shall we? Taco pie is looks delicious. To make it oh god, it's very stormy out there. Let's change the weather to clear. Storms are blowing. Okay, to make a taco pie we're gonna need some milk. Thank god I managed to break some. We got we need some cheese. And we need tomatoes. So let's pick ourselves some tomatoes. And the final ingredient we need is pork. Have I cooked any pork? It doesn't appear I have. Silly me. Let's just get ourselves some pork. We got some eggs. And do I have wheat? I do. Okay, so it's gonna be tomato, cheese, pork. We got a milk on one side. Or do we think we're going to need another milk? Two milks, my mistake. Milk on both sides, tomato, cheese, and then a bit of pork. And then we need the egg in the middle, and the wheat at the bottom. And that creates a taco pie. It's exactly the same as, pick out all again, it's exactly the same for a steak pie, except you put steak at the top instead of any of the other ingredients and then you just put wheat at the bottom and you got yourself a meat pie also known as a steak pie chocolate cake is pretty much the same as a normal cake except you use cocoa and that is pretty much it when it comes to the actual cakes and pies okay there are a few small little things that you should know to make some of the to make some of the ingredients such as the chicken Caesar salad you may need some sauce and everything so 
meat sauce so meat sauce you would need a steak kitchen knife that creates meat sauce these are the small ingredients that we need to make the major meals and to create something simple like oil you need a glass file again and need an avocado and that creates oil oil and you need to create mayonnaise another bowl so you need a bowl some oil oops, and an egg and that creates mayonnaise which is used for some various other ingredients so let's show you where the ingredients actually come from so most of the ingredients come from seeds the seeds you can... oh it stayed set time zero there we go most of the seeds come from breaking glass breaking grass see you get grape, strawberry just break a load and you get lots and here are some of the things you can make with it so over here we have oh I'm gonna have a full inventory on I so I won't be able to pick everything up trust me I'm a klutz so messy just delete some of the stuff okay now over here we break we have some lovely rich tomatoes as you can see when you break it you don't actually lose the plant it grows back so you only need to place one set you don't really need to reseed after that over here these are onions them you will have to replant here you've got raspberries here you have tomatoes most of these you don't need to replant they'll regrow themselves you got corn here to make popcorn you got lettuce now there are two new kinds of seeds to create the flowers instead of having to go trucking around for them there are red flower and yellow flower seeds placing them we create the plants and the final thing we have here is wasabi wasabi is used to make the sushi sushi and rice I can't pick it up at the moment now grapes is a little differently grapes you actually need a grape trellis a grape holder to make it on but it's basically the same so to make the grape holders you need a crafting bench crafting bench that could be helpful just place them all in crafting bench could be helpful and you need sticks so you put a stick there not there and that creates two grape holders you place the grape holders down and then you place the grape seeds on and you wait for that to grow if you're bored with waiting bone meal does work on these so it works on pretty much all the plants that I've tried you just continuously keep breaking them bone mealing them up and break them again everlasting fruit now there for some of the basics you won't be able to get apples or avocados or oranges through this way instead you use trees for them as you can see over here for an example this is an avocado tree you break the avocados after a while they do tend to also drop instead there are also as well as avocado trees there are cocoa trees to break down the cocoa so you don't have to go looking for a jungle well you get cocoa bean and the cocoa bean makes cocoa and as well you also get I as you can see I think over there in the distance game O C. as you can see over here in the distance these are the orange trees they basically work exactly the same way you break them in anything but game mode C and they give you an orange and they are mainly found in plains biomes you see this white stuff on the ground this is salt it's game mode S this is salt so you can see you get that mainly that's found on sand so it's found on beaches it's mainly found on beaches because it's close to sand and water uh, fly your way back 
to my very simple, very quaint cafe that I did within five minutes. More than proud of myself, I must say. So let's show off some of the other things that we can make then. So I've made hot dogs, I've made a sandwich, I've made a burger, made some guacamole, which tastes nicer than it sounds. Let's make mm, pancakes. Now, to make pancakes, we need a jar of jam and some eggs and pancakes. We need some wheat. Wheat pancakes needs wheat, of course. Some milk for pancakes. Am I out of milk? I may be out of milk. Might I be out of milk? Nope, I've got plenty milk. I've got some salt. Do I already have salt? I do. And that's pretty much what we need for pancakes. Pancakes, you put the jam on top in the middle. Two wheat on the middle row. Middle column. I don't know if that's a row or column. Uh, eggs there. Salt. Milk. And you got yourself some pancakes for the breakfast morning. And you get rid of your jam jar. And jam jar is created through glass again. We need glass and we need a bit of wood to create the lid of the jam jar. It's pretty much the same as a drinking glass except you put a bit of wood on top and you got a jam jar. Now a jam jar I believe is filled like so but it may not be. I may be completely wrong. I am. I'm not entirely sure how a jam jar is filled. I did believe it was that way. Unless you can't make raspberry jam, can you? I spelled raspberry wrong. You can make raspberry jam. I have no idea why raspberries don't work then. Must be my raspberries. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's see what else we can make then. Ah, pasta. Pasta is used for quite a few. You got macaroni and cheese needs pasta, pasta and meat sauce. I believe tomato and onion salad actually has pasta in, which is a little odd, but can't complain. So it's pasta, you need water, egg and wheat. So we got water, we got wheat, and we got egg. Simple case of water, then egg, and then wheat. And you got yourself some pasta. And we probably could use some more pasta than that. Not paste. Pasta. Okay, let's see what else we can make. Pasta with sauce? Can we make the pasta with meat sauce? That sounds fine. Pasta with meat sauce, you're going to need a bowl. Do I have a bowl? An unused bowl? Maybe I got rid of them. They're probably outside. Just pick up some more. So we're gonna need the pasta. We're gonna need a bowl. Uh, meat sauce, we're gonna need the actual meat sauce. So we cut up some steak. Which I also left outside. Steak. So let's cut up some steak with some meat sauce. Get ourselves a few meat sauces, there we go. And the last thing we would need is some ketchup. And the ketchup again is made with salt, a tomato. Does anyone know where the tomatoes are? My kitchen is a disorganised mess. Some vials. Can I. Did I not keep them? No, I didn't. It's a bottle, not vial. I've been playing Feed the Beast too much. So it would be that tomato and salt or was it sugar it was sugar I can't tell the difference between the two and then we finish it off with a bowl at the bottom ketchup in the middle pasta on one side meat sauce on the other and you got yourself pasta with meat sauce which looks delicious and let's finish off with the wines and the plates I'm not sure if it's this mod, if it's me, if I installed it incorrectly, but 
I haven't been able to get the items actual placing on the plates, but that is a possibility. Uh, I haven't realised the mod creator was planning or it has planned to pl be able to place the items on the mod plates by left control. I don't know if that's because I'm using an outdated version, but it doesn't seem to work for me. But you can create actual meals by placing them on the plates. So to create a plate, you need some wood and you create a cross with it and that creates two plates two plates can be placed on the ground like so picked up and you don't lose them so that's a simple thing to make and the beer now I can't place them in the beer kegs without my game crashing but I can show you exactly how you make a keg so these are the kegs you got the white wine base and the red wine base as you can see here to make some white and red wine. I don't know if they actually create for me, that's again really loud. Uh, so to make white wine we're going to need going to need I don't even know, oh no let's make some let's make red wine, I prefer red over white so we should need some grapes, some water, some more water, and to colour it I imagine we're going to need some red dye. So let's go and pick that up from the flowers that I have actually been growing. Collect a rose, turn the rose into some red rose. And that will create my keg. Okay, so the grapes go full top. The red rose is the bottom middle, and then two water on the side, and that creates the wine base. Now, to finish it off, you simply put the wine base in the keg, let it brew for an entire Minecraft day, and then you just use bottles and you can collect the actual white wine itself. And that covers the basics of the Mo Foods and Crops mod. As you can see there are quite a few other um, meals that you can create but they use a similar layout, the same similar ingredients to pretty much what I've shown you. It's an amazing mod, it adds so much more creativity to the actual cooking style of Minecraft and it's definitely definitely worth checking out it's one of my favorite food mods and i hope you enjoyed this mod spotlight and goodbye for now